Central Florida. I think they uh, came out and played an outstanding game. The quarterback played well for them. Um, offensive, uh, their offensive line, you know, set the tone early. I thought our defense rebounded. Their defensive line, I felt like if there's anything you can point to, their defensive line played really well. Uh, took away the run game from us. Took away the quarterback having a chance to set his feet and, uh, um, you know, just uh, beat us up pretty good up there where we couldn't really get anything going. So offensively, as I'm sure you saw, we couldn't get a first down, really couldn't, couldn't uh, convert when we had chances to move the football. Had the ball down inside the five toy, you know, couldn't get it done. So it's uh, a credit to them and, and something that we have to get better at and improve on. And, and then, um, you know, uh, we couldn't get up the field on third down. You know, they, they, their quarterback, I thought it was third and 12, third and 14. You know, they, they repetitively just found a way to make those plays that, uh, that uh, we weren't able to make. So, uh, once again, penalties hurt us, you know, uh, tripping, things like that, things that we're not you know, accustomed to have uh, showed up you know, in the game. So, Probably guys, I thought they fought to the end. I thought they, um, you know, I thought they showed that they wanted to try to win the game. And um, but we, you know, we have a lot of work to do, you know, to to, to come back from this and uh, keep going. We will, and uh, um, you know, we want to be like that team across the way. They've won a lot of games, and um, you know, they're a veteran group that, that plays together, and, and um, that's what we have to be. So, um, if you guys have any questions, Matt, if you were the decision to pull the PJ in the second half and replace him with Connors. Well, yeah, you know, I just thought, you know, PJ's kind of limping around and, and uh, you know, uh, I don't want to just single out one person, but he just wasn't playing the way that I know he's capable of playing, you know, so we, um, you know, I just wanted to see if I could get something started and get, get something jump started and, and then uh, put PJ back in there, you know, I, I didn't plan on just pulling forever, I just wanted him to sit for a second, rest, you know, see the game, make a decision how he wanted to go back in there and play and uh, I thought maybe Connor would give us uh, a spark. And I thought Connor did a nice job. Just penalties, you know, every time we got something going, a penalty stopped and brought it back. So, um, you know, really up front, uh, you know, we just we just were in overheads a little bit tonight on, on the offensive line, and uh, and uh, couldn't you know, couldn't even get anything going. When you say he was looking around, is that still the ankle? Yeah, I think he tweaked the ankle early in the first quarter, and uh, you know, I think he tried to play through it, but um, you know, it just uh, just you know, just wasn't just wasn't the way it was supposed to look. So we. We got him out for a little bit, brought him back in, and, and I thought he looked better at the end. You know, obviously we, we didn't convert down inside, but but um, you know, I thought at least moved us back down into scoring position. He's had his struggles the last two weeks. What, if anything, is different about what he's done the last two weeks as opposed to maybe where he was to start the season or even at the end of the last season? You know, I, I have to look look at today. I just think uh, we've had a hard time blocking the fronts the last two weeks, and so there's no real run game to offset. Him. There's no real, you know, we're, we're penalties were in third and twelve as opposed to third and five, and I don't, I don't think they're penalties out of lack of discipline. I just think our confidence is shook a little bit up front, and uh, we're playing some, you know, good D linemen, and we have to play at a high level. You know, Deion Dawkins didn't go today. I thought the other guys tried to fill in admirably. Leon Johnson and <laughs> Samaje Reed and Shabazz kicking out the tackles. Really, they're, they're, those three guys are first time doing that. But uh, you know, when you go in there, you have to play well, and, and that's for everybody, and, and, and we certainly did. So the 17 nothing start, were, were they just more ready to go at the, at the beginning of the game? Uh, no, I mean, I wouldn't say that. I mean, um, you know, I thought we had him stopped. It was third and 15, you know, and, and uh, Ward's a great player. You know, he threw a five-yard route to him. We tackle him. They've got to kick a field goal. It's fourth down, and, and uh, you know, he just made a play, and that's a credit to him. And, and um, you know, then we then, you know, then we then we throw a kick a ball out. Our uh, senior is a great player for us, you know, fumbles the ball, and, I was proud of our defense to go out there and force a field goal. And so, you know, we, we have to go back and look at everything that we're doing to figure out why all of a sudden now we're not starting fast. And, and, and really, we haven't started fast for a while on offense. You know, I don't know, if, you know, we had a lot of guys playing positions for the first time. But, you know, I, I thought once we settled down, I thought the kicking games with the block punts helped us and, you know, get a little bit of energy and, and guys kind of settled in. So, um, but I, I don't think we weren't ready. I thought we had a lot of energy and it just, uh, you know, just didn't make the plays we had to make. Matt, when it's on the block punt, was that something you saw on films, or was that something that you saw today? Because, I mean, you had two consecutive block punts, as you know, that doesn't happen very frequently. Yeah, we thought we could block them. You know, we thought, uh, we thought we, you know, we decided we were going to go after it, and uh, we went after both, you know, went after both times. And then later, you know, he kicked one about 20 yards, um, which wasn't blocked, but it's the same as the block for us. So, um, you know, Sam Benjamin, I think, got both of them. I think he has three on the year, and so he's got a natural knack for it. And we were, we were going to be aggressive, you know. As we go through this phase of trying to get our players to, you know, go in, get in these games with a little bit more riding on it, and you know, teams with winning records and all that, we've tried to be aggressive to try to help them get through that. And uh, you know, I think we call it a block punt on fourth and one, you know, which normally you don't do after the. We thought we had the ball picked off, and and uh, they ruled it down, so then we came out there and went after the block punt. So um, we went.
when to be aggressive and know Sam has a knack for getting. Are you concerned about twice today where you weren't able to convert when you were deep in Central Florida territory and then last week against Houston the same thing happened? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's been that. It's been short yards really have, have, uh, have given us a hard time. And um, you know, just the running game in general is not anywhere where it needs to be. And, uh, uh, you know, we have to get it corrected. You know, we have to get it corrected because, because otherwise we're kind of out there like sitting ducks for we're just dropping back and trying to fill the football. So um, in crucial situations, you have to make those plays. You, know, you, you convert on any of those, those touch, you know, any of those opportunities, and you probably have a different game. So, um, you know, Ramon's been a weapon for us. They double covered him out there. And, uh um, couldn't run the ball in. I mean, hand it to the tailback, hand it to the quarterback. You know, you have numbers. So we just have to. We have to just play a little bit better up front. And you touched on uh, moving into the stretch. Now we're going to have to play some teams with slightly better records. You guys start out four and one. You're now at four and three. How do you sort of keep everybody up going into the stretch? Because you know, you obviously don't want things to get away from you. Well, I mean, as I said, then they were one and six last year. This time, you know, I mean, there's there's only there's only three or four seniors in there. I mean, they. You know, that, that, that team over there, I mean, you know, they've, they've got some guys who played a lot of football and they made a lot of plays tonight. So that offensive line is out there blocking that on, on fourth and one's not getting it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to give up on them. I'm going to tell them, hey, we're going we're to get it done, you know. And, and um, you know, uh, you know, we'll be back in these situations again. It comes back this week and the rest of the stretch, we're going to have these situations. And then into next year, we'll have these situations. And if we can keep making the progress we've made from this game last year until, you know, now, I mean, in terms of our record, I mean, I think our kids will. They'll be ready. So well, we're trying to build the program. We're trying to get those guys to you know play better and better and better. And and you have setbacks sometimes, and you have to fight back through them. And so we're not going to sneak up on anybody anymore. We're going to get their best shot. We got their best shot today, and and uh, they, they they set us kind of reeling. We stood back up and fought for a while. It was 24, 4, 27, 14. It was a two score game, and and um, but in the end we just couldn't couldn't make the plays. And so we'll just keep working and keep working and keep working until we can make the two interceptions. I guess near interceptions in the first half, the, the first one, Tyler and Sean sort of fight for it, falls to the ground, and then the has is overturned. Those really could have swung the tie for you. Can you just talk about how that might have changed things, even though the offense wasn't really going? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when, when, when things aren't going well, you try, you try to force turnovers. You look at the, you know, the second half, and then we forced two of them, you know, play a rips that ball out, and, and the ball that originally said was down, and then we eventually got back down there at the end. So, you know, we're trying to play team football, so when you're not playing really well on offense, you know you hope the defense can go out there and, and a not give up big plays and then cause turnovers. So um, you know those would have been great plays to have. We thought we had the one to Anthony. You know we were, we were excited, but uh, you know we didn't. So we you know we went out there and got the ball back. You know but just didn't flip the fields. Do you anticipate a change at quarterback based on uh, the injury to Walker and based on how the offense has performed the last couple of weeks? I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, you know we, we know Connor's there. He's a good quarterback. There. I mean, I have to see the tape, but there's so many. There's so many areas right now that we're just, you know, on offense just not clicking on. And I think to single out the one guy wouldn't be fair, you know. I mean, you know, um, he's shown he can do it. You know, he's shown that he's a really talented kid. You know, a lot, you know, a lot of these kids hit this time, you know, where, where things aren't going well. He's got to play himself through it. And uh, if he can't play himself through it, Connor's there. Right? I have confidence he'll play himself through it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys.